There is much debate and confusion today concerning the issue of the timing of the rapture, or even the doctrine of the rapture. We have those who are denying there is one. The fundamental truth of Scripture long held by born-again Christians is now being discounted or dismissed, or even ignored, and being ignored at the behest of major Christian leaders, such as Rick Warren, who tell people to avoid the subject of end-time prophecy. The return of Jesus, the rapture and resurrection, is our blessed hope, yet we're being exhorted by people claiming to be Christian leaders to ignore our own blessed hope, even though the Lord Jesus himself commanded that we be watchful for these things. Then we have fragmentation among those who believe in the rapture, not just between those who are pre-tribulational and mid-tribulational and post-tribulational or pre-wrath or intraseal, but the pre-tribulational people are divided against themselves now between the traditional pre-tribulation people and later ones who are calling the apostasy of 2 Thessalonians the rapture itself. There's so much confusion and infighting within each specific camp and the camps opposed to each other. Most of the books addressing this issue have been reactionary, one position reacting against another position. In the book Harpezo, which is the Greek word for rapture, that is snatching away, we put all of these things to one side. We take a proactive, expository, exegetical response. What do the scriptures themselves teach about the rapture? What does the word of God say about it? That's our premise. We don't try to refute anything. We don't try to respond to any other position. We simply say, this is what the Word of God actually says. Having done that, you will draw your own conclusions as to which position is correct. The book does, of course, conclude that the intra-seal position is the right one, that Jesus comes between the sixth and seventh seal. We do not believe, however, that the restrainer is an angel. And we have some views concerning the way the early church would have understood the two witnesses in Revelation chapters 11, 12, and all the way to chapter 13 concerning the Antichrist and false prophet. The book Harpezo is not like any other book ever written on the subject. It uses typology not as a basis of doctrine, but to illustrate doctrine looking at all of the other rescue narratives in Scripture as types of the coming rescue, but again, only for purposes of illumination, not for purposes of doctrinal conclusion. We want the conclusion to come from you as the Holy Spirit leads you prayerfully and carefully as you study the subject of the return of Jesus. Again, no book on the rapture has ever been written by anyone, to our knowledge, the way Harpezo has been written. It's comprehensive. It looks at aspects of the rapture most Christians have never even thought of. But more importantly, it's focused on the fact that Christ is indeed returning for his bride. And our aim is that by the grace of God, we who remain will be ready when he comes.